Hi guys, in this video, we'll focus on how to adjust the parameters of XTOR D1 for the best engraving effects. Now let's take a look at these engraving products. They are engraved with a 10 watt laser head of D1. Can you see the rules? Right, you may notice that the speed parameters are uniformly set at 90 mm per second, and the power is respectively 20, 50, 80, and 100% from left to right. And as a result, the engraving and color get deeper and deeper. So we may reach to this conclusion. Under the premise of other parameters being the same, the greater the power, the deeper and darker the pattern will be engraved. So if you would like to have deep and dark engraving, you may choose a higher power. Now these are also engraved with a D1 10 watt laser head. Well, the difference is that this time, the power is unchanged, unified as 50%. On the other hand, speed is increasing from 20, 70, 120 to 180. As a result, engraving turns from dark and deep to light and shallow. So under the premise of other parameters being the same, the higher the speed, the shallower and lighter the engraving will be. So if you would like to have a deep and dark engraving, you may set a lower speed. Before we introduce you to our next engraving products, let's get familiar with two parameters. First, sharpness. Sharpness defines the clarity of engraving. When we set a low sharpness value, pictures tend to be fuzzy and engravings too, vice versa. As with lines per centimeter, let's take examples as below. If the value is set to 20, the laser will scan and engrave 20 lines in a centimeter. And if it is set to 300, the 300 lines in a centimeter you will get. So you could set a high lines per centimeter value for a narrow line spacing. Now this is also a product of D1 with 10 watt laser head. With sharpness, power and speed parameters remaining constant, and lines per centimeter increasing from 20 to 100, 200, and 300. The line spacing is becoming narrower, and engravings get clearer as a result. So as a conclusion, we can increase the lines per centimeter parameter for clearer engraving effects. Now let's take a look at this engraving product. What parameters could have been modified for a better engraving effect. The sharpness seems okay, only that the engraving is too shallow. For better engraving effects, we may reduce the speed or increase the power, or both at the same time. And what about this one? The sharpness seems okay, only the engraving is too dark and deep. For better engraving effects, we may reduce the power or increase the speed or both at the same time. Last one. You may notice the line spacing is a little bit wide. As a solution, we may set a higher lines per centimeter value. Okay guys, as for engraving parameters, we are here today. You may try and practice accordingly for yourselves. Hope it helps. See you next time.